On their final collaboration day of the summer, the Questar 3 STEM Research Institute welcomed Congressman Paul Tonko to hear from the teachers, mentors, and business partners involved in the program. The visit highlighted not only the teachers' experience, but also what they are bringing back into their classroom and how that is impacting their instruction and their students' learning. Oh, they personalized it in a way that you can best understand the impact that they're having on their students. And, um, you know, to be able to draw forth their interests, their passions, their abilities, um, this sort of practical, hands-on understanding of the subject matter or how it can relate to an innovation economy is a, a very powerful tool. It's completely revolutionized how I teach science. Everything now is based more on problem solving and critical thinking than it ever was before. Knowing what, how that subject matter applies itself to a, a career, to changes that you can produce, that, that soulfulness that's instilled in the students, that's brought forth from the students, is very, very important to our uh, strength as a nation. Eventually we hope that they get excited in high school about STEM, and then they hold that interest into, into college, and um, it propagates. And uh, both um, you know, the university research centers need more students, and um, you know, industry. We need more students that are interested in science and engineering. We see a model that's over a century old and hasn't really been revisited. And so I think expanding this opportunity um, here in this district and then allowing it to extrapolate into all districts would enable us to offer the best package on education for students. Educators need to be equipped. They need to understand their subject matter, yes, but how that matter applies to you know, the growth of our economy, the growth of an individual, the contributions of an individual. Um, this program does that.